So what is this? So this is the inner part, the guts of a, of a spark plug. Mm -hmm. And the spark plug is surrounded out here by mm -hmm. the upper electrode mm -hmm. and opposite is the lower electrode. What? The lower electrode over here. Over here? No, this is, a, my left hand is the lower electrode. Mm -hmm. The lower electrode is attached to the capacitor. Mm -hmm. So it gets charged. Mm -hmm. When the switch fires, a negative charge suddenly appears on this electrode. Mm -hmm. And a spark is supposed to jump from here to here, which allows the current to flow. Mm -hmm. Now the current doesn't flow. The, the point of the spark plug is only to provide the spark. The current, once the current starts to flow, it almost immediately jumps over to this electrode, which is attached. To this electrode. Right, to my right hand. This is the cathode. And the right hand, right. And the right hand, no, this is, this becomes part of the, attached to the anode, which is way off screen over here. So the current then flows into the machine through the anode because this is positively charged. This is the anode. This is the anode and this becomes the anode once the spark, the current starts to flow here, mm -hmm. okay? Now, the problem with such switches is that once the charge starts to appear on here, there's the possibility of the charge jumping horizontally this way before it jumps this way. Mm -hmm. That becomes a misfire because this then loses its negative charge mm -hmm. and therefore the switch either doesn't fire at all or fires much lighter. Mm -hmm. This <clears throat> insulator, its job is to prevent the firing, the, the spark jumping across. Mm -hmm. So what's especially critical is the surface because it's easier for any spark to travel along a surface than to travel through a gas. This material is called Lexan. It's a common form of plastic. Mm -hmm. And this is what we use in the old switches. Now this is an unused insulator, but the used ones got very blackened. Mm -hmm. And we figured this was a bad thing this led to more breakdowns. So we replaced these with ceramic insulators. When? When we built the new switches. So mm -hmm. one of the changes we made in the new switches was the Lexan was out and the ceramic, which I don't have here, mm -hmm. was in. <clears throat> and we thought ceramic is much tougher material. It has a high dielectric constant, which is generally a measure of how good an insulator is, so it should be better. Well, we started getting, and we have continued to getting, a lot of these side breakdowns. That's mm -hmm. the main reason the switches are not working, is too many of these side breakdowns. Right now? That's, or why they used to not work before? They're working worse than the old switches. Mm. Right. So, what I didn't realize is sometimes things in the literature are hard to find, even with Google and other search engines. Back in 07, people at a big laser facility mm -hmm. had a very similar problem to ours. They mm -hmm. had to f feed energy to their laser. Mm -hmm. from many switches and they had to fire all simultaneously just like ours and they found that both Lexan and the ceramic broke down more easily 
than plastics with low dielectric constant, mm -hmm. which is the opposite of what you would think. And therefore, they said they found the best plastic was Teflon, mm -hmm. the same material that people use for lining pans and so on. So the problem that we have now is... I just got an estimate from a local machine shop that they can make these insulators in two weeks mm -hmm. for us out of Teflon. Mm -hmm. Where? States? Well, locally? New Jersey, yeah. Oh. But the question is, we haven't really tested this concept. We haven't tested whether I've just done one shot in which I try to put back on the Lexan and see whether it functions better than the ceramic, mm -hmm. which would indicate the Teflon would be still better. So the question is, do we wait and do the tests? But this is or do we order switch, it now? That, this is inside the switch, right? This is... Right now, most of the switches have ceramic inside the switch. And I just started... I'm asking, is this whole thing yes. within the, the... Right. In other words... What do you call this? The this, gas This switch? is the spark plug. Okay. And the spark plug in the real orientation, mm -hmm. this is the top of the switch, and my left hand is the bottom of the switch. Mm -hmm. So in the real orientation. And this distance here is Wait. called the gap. Mm-hmm. That's why. Gap between uh, that and my spark um, plug and, and the anode. Right, that's called the gap, and that's why the whole switch, which is an old type of switch, so the, is, is the, the gap spark switch. gap switch. Spark gap switch. Because the spark switch. goes across the gap. So where is the gas word in it? The gas, gas, the gas fills this whole area. Mm -hmm. So. Around. So it's a called a spark gap switch or a spark gas switch or a spark gap gas. No, it's called a spark gap switch, but it's also a gas. Switch. Sometimes called a gas switch. Oh, wonderful. So that's what we need to decide. Well, whether to take a Teflon. Yeah, without testing, or should we wait and try and uh -huh. test? How much is it? Three thousand for a set of twenty-five, which would, um, which would be enough. Okay. So let's ask our audience no, if we say. should uh, spend three thousand dollars. 